She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley, and today is going to be a depressing video, but I know you guys love my study with me videos, so yeah, you guys already know I have a coffee. It's the only thing that makes me happy. Iced vanilla lattes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be studying today for a P test. We have a long weekend, and I chose to study because, because I probably should have been studying before, but I haven't been, and you know what? It's okay. Um, I actually already took thumbnail pictures on my phone, so I'm going to edit that, and then I'm going to show you all the work that I've done and that I need to do, so it'll be like how I'm studying for the AP test slash like what I'm doing, because I know you guys have had some questions about that. The fact that that took me 10 minutes is honestly kind of embarrassing, but I was watching SVU while I was editing the photos, so that's kind of my excuse. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you about like what I'm finishing up for like my studying, and then I'll talk about like how I've been studying the past units. Today is also like October, uh, October, April 2nd, April 3rd, what day? I don't know, it's a Saturday, I literally don't even know. So in the beginning of these chapters, there's like a little section that details a bunch of the, not vocab words, but I guess it's like vocab words, if I can even find it, looking through this. Okay, here we go. So it has like a list of a bunch of things, and in my notes that I've already written, I have a lot of the stuff, but whatever I didn't have or didn't know off the top of my head, I wrote down, and then I'm going through and I'm making like thing a specific thing that I didn't have, and I'm writing it all down just so I don't miss any information. So I need to finish these two in my list and then I just highlight it when I'm done so I know. And then I need to go study that because I studied my other period two stuff and I just need to finish studying this. So this is, I just finished all the vocab words. This is what it looks like, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna go print it out soon and I'm still watching SVU because I love to scare myself. You guys, it's almost dinner time, and SVU is getting spicy, let me tell you. I'm on season 20, episode 9, because I'm literally insane. It's so good, you guys, and so bad at the same time. Like, this is why I can't sleep at night, seriously. I didn't sleep last night. I shouldn't admit to that. Like, I, it's been more than 24 hours, but I'm going to go to sleep tonight, I promise. <laughs> Anyways, off topic, let me show you how I've been studying. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have seen this before, probably in my old videos. It's where I used to take my A-Push notes before I got my iPad Pro. And I marked them off by where the units ended, just so whenever I was transcribing my notes, like condensing them on the computer, I would know where to stop and start so I wouldn't have to constantly check. Did was I typed them up on my computer. You can see, look how cute they are. And then I put them in this binder and I printed them out. Hopefully it'll focus. Okay, cool. You can see how it's like really condensed. It has like the cute little arrow thing. It's a quick like little flip thing that I can study. This has been really easy to study. It's like condensed version of notes, like I've been saying. And then I put little tabs on them, like unit one, unit two, just so I can flip easier. And then for unit two, I made this really cool, like, graph thingy. I don't know what to call this, like a outline, something like that. Just something easy to remember instead of having to like type up type it up like a million times so yeah and then these are my unit two notes so yeah our period two notes oh they're so beautiful 
I love them. So you're probably like, okay, Ashley, you've been studying that. How have you been studying? So basically, instead of reading this, I would basically transcribe it on a whiteboard. My whiteboard's downstairs, and no offense, I'm like not going to get it right now. But what I would do is I would write like, Maya's had maize, the Inca had potatoes. Let me check to make sure that's true. That'd be so embarrassing if it wasn't. Yes, okay, that's true, good. That would have been embarrassing. So I did that and then I read through it a few times after I um, kind of like got used to the information. And then I went online to simplestudies.com. Again, not like sponsored or anything. I just found a lot of stuff on like TikTok and online because I really don't want to create a quiz for myself as I spent like hours typing up my notes. In simple studies unit one quiz a push we'll click on that so this is what pops up and then you would type in your name and then click start quiz and then it'll give you like a series of 20 questions and then based off of the information that I just reviewed I would take that quiz and see how well I did just to see that if I was like actually learning anything just because this information, I, it's just like, how am I supposed to remember it? This was literally in August. So yeah, and that's what I'm going to do for every single unit. So I've just finished doing that for unit one, and now it's on to unit two, which I already condensed my notes, read through them. So the next would be, I look over them one more time. So the next thing I would do is just kind of skim all these notes. And then I would go to Simple Studies and find the Unit 2 quiz and take that just to see if I've been learning anything. And then the like events that I missed in period two, that's what I need to go over because I haven't printed it yet, so I need to print that. And you guys will see. And then one thing that I did that was super duper helpful that I actually saw a TikTok about is you can go to the College Board website and you can actually find outlines for all their topics and stuff. So I printed those and I'm just making sure, like I'm reading through through them I'm reading through them so this is what they look like and then it'll be like different native societies adapted and transformed their environments through innovation and in agriculture resource use and social structure so you'd need to know like what those were um, and that's what it has for like all of them each of the little um, uh, topics that you need to know so yeah I just make sure that in, in my notes, I've covered all of that. They're not specific, but as long as you answer the question, I guess it's good. And then you guys already know that I have a whole schedule planned out. A schedule that I was planning just because I like to be organized and like quantify how much I've been studying. So like today's Saturday, yesterday I outlined my study schedule and I worked on unit one and unit two. And then today again, I'm working on unit one and unit two for a push. Um, oh, that's May. And then I just outlined it for my daily thing and I wrote outline, create the notes, create the notes. And then I finished creating the notes and then I'm going to be studying the notes. And then I'll probably write quizzing over the notes because that's what I'm going to be doing. And then I will continue to, to do all of that for like each section in each chapter. Um, and I'm hoping this works out because <laughs> I don't know how else to study. Because <laughs> I only have like a month to go over it, which a month seems like a long time, but to cover like this much information like a year's worth of information in a month is not easy like to get yourself to try to remember the information is going to be difficult <laughs> okay but i'm gonna go have dinner now because it's like almost 8 30 and then i will come back and print my notes print like my the rest of my period two notes and then quiz myself and then outline other stuff that i'm gonna do basically just do the rest <laughs> I'm pretty tired, but I got an 85, 
so that's not bad it, i i don't know how like hard or easy these questions are i'm gonna take a practice test probably like next week or like later this week i just want to go over some material just because i really don't know a lot so that's pretty good i'm gonna keep note of every single quiz um result that i get so then i can compile it into an average okay, i'm tired so let's finish studying tomorrow guys i literally slept and took naps this whole day pretty much <laughs> so it's like eight o'clock ish what time is it i don't even know yeah eight o'clock so i'm gonna study a little bit before i have dinner because today's easter happy easter everyone let me just tell you what i'm studying of course we have svu on but this is for april you can see like what i wrote you guys know i like to color code everything so i'm gonna color code the units that i do and then this is today's schedule i'm gonna review you unit one and unit two i'm gonna watch a video on how to write an laq because i literally can't remember a thing and then i'm gonna go over um how to write a q2 even though we had a major grade on it last week i still need to go over it just because i forget everything and then this was like last week's schedule but more importantly i'm literally gonna go get my highlighter so i can highlight like i did my other stuff just to make sure everything's in order brought my highlighters down i highlighted everything you guys you got oh my god i'm so obsessed and then i put like what i color coded it just so i can see really easy but now i actually need to study so okay i'm gonna the way that i'm going to review is i'm gonna go through these pages for a little bit um just reviewing the information instead of using my whiteboard method just because i know it generally i just want to make sure that i don't forget too much my camera died so we love that so i just did like a time lapse and yeah now i'm gonna go have dinner and then we'll come back and do whatever's on the rest of my list so i reviewed one and two and everything is making so much more sense like i went through my notes and even though you guys know um i picked out stuff that i thought i didn't have in my notes it turns out i did i just wasn't looking closely enough so that means i wasn't really studying enough um so it, it's good that even though i've gone through it so many times there are still things that i didn't even know that i had in my notes <laughs> basically i need to watch the how to write an leq video i don't know how long it is it's from that guy that like everyone uses on here i forget his name i don't even know how many videos of him i've seen let me show you okay here's his video mr helmer Helm Heilmer. i'm gonna re or uh, watch this one because i've I read that one, but it's his oldest one and this one's newer. It's like five months. So I'm going to go ahead and watch that. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah I just finished and I wrote everything down 
and just so i can have like a note sheet and you guys already know i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna highlight it what highlighter should I use i really want to use pink but i think i'm gonna use like this green bluish color that's like what i find exciting <laughs> and yeah i wrote like how i would get the total points i put seven points at first because i mixed it up with a dbq um and then i found this website where you can project your score um by like guessing how well you did so if you wanted a five this is like what the minimum that you'd have to get right and you're just gonna have to mess around with it it's fun would not recommend because it'll just give you more anxiety I'm